Three, two. What's up, people? It's Triple T Media. We outside today with it. Today I got RW Photography. They don't know who you is. I'll say a little bit about you. Uh, where you from? And go for it. What's up, y'all? This is John Wilson, the RW Photography. I'm from the streets of Philly. Born and raised in German Sound. So basically, photography was basically like a hobby. That's all it was. It was a hobby. And then, you know, I put the pictures online, started getting a lot of feedback. And so people were like, you really going in business. I still look at it as a hobby more than business because it's just like you got to love it and enjoy it in order to keep pursuing it. So, I mean, it's all business and everything, but sometimes you just, you still got to have fun. So you still got to treat it like a hobby. Been doing this since, what, about 2015? So, um, been covered fashion shows, uh, community events, uh, events in New York at the Apollo. So, so Snoop Dogg, you know, uh, celebrities like Megan Good. So, you know, I mean, um, the list like, goes on and on, you know, so just still putting in a lot of work, learning new things on a daily basis. That's what it's all about. And then passing on the information to the next show. So, was so, uh, photography something that was taught? Or you, what was it something you just learned yourself? Nah, I just always, like, always had a passion for, like, art and different photos and stuff like that. So, I will always see certain photos and I, you know, I like what I saw. And, like, for instance, like, if you're a sports lover like me, like, you like basketball, football, whatever the case may be, you know, you look at it, it's action shots and stuff. And it's just like, you always wonder how, how can you get those shots or something like that? How, how can people capture those moments and stuff like that? You know, these are moments that last forever. And then it's like, once you actually learn the skill and how to do it, then it's like, now you, you, you got these moments to yourself and stuff. And you never know who's going to be the next big name. And you didn't shot these people. So it's just like, it's a real cool experience. So, uh, so your, your first time, how was it like your first experience? Like your first time using a camera and the first event that you had the opportunity to cover, like how was that? The moment at that time, first was put on like spotlight to take photos. Oh, I was nervous as hell. <laughs> um, because I really, I didn't do no research on the camera I bought. Yes. I just looked and said it looks nice, and I bought it. <laughs> and next thing I know, I'm like, I just went around to different places and started trying to take pictures and stuff. I, I the whole ISO didn't know nothing about it. The whole set didn't know nothing about it. And then I will always ask people who I seen. Like I would go to the skate park and ask other photographers, like, "How you do this? How you do this?" Everybody just kept saying the same thing. It was like, "Yo, just keep shooting, keep shooting." I took it ignorant as ignorance in the beginning because I just felt like they didn't want to help me out. But in reality, that's what you have to keep doing. You have to keep shooting. You have to play with the options and learn the camera. But you, in reality. He was telling me what I needed to know, so it was like a new time. You have to keep shooting. You have to learn your camera, learn the pros and cons of it, and you know, then you'll get to where you need to be. Don't mind the ambulance, we're outside with it, so there's gonna be some emergencies around the past. <laughs> so, uh, so, uh, somebody that wanted it. To get into photography, uh, maybe young or old. Uh, what's some uh, steps you tell me to take into becoming a photographer? Oh well, for those who don't know, you know, so I'm in my early 40s, so it's a whole bunch of you know slack off that. So a lot of people are like, well, you're too old to do this. You're too old to do that. You're never too old to do anything. So I'm a prime example of that because I'm still doing it. It's like my lifestyle is like somebody of somebody who's still in their 20s and stuff like that. The opportunities and everything. So um, 
I would say don't listen to nobody. Follow your dreams. And if it's a passion, you have to move forward on it regardless. That's what's up. So, uh, uh, is it like any photographers you get inspired by? Or, I, get, uh, I get inspired by all photographers. A lot of photographers, I'll look at their work, and it's just like, I won't say every picture, but some pictures, and I'll just see some real creative stuff. Best moments, making good. Making good. All right. <laughs> making good. Uh, we can snoop. Snoop. Yeah. That's another one. Uh, Red Man and Method Man, that was definitely a high one. Of course, my baby, uh, Chris and Michelle. I can't forget that one right here. Nice. You know, um, there's a lot of other ones, but those are the top ones I would say, where it's like you get to be. The experience is crazy. Seeing these people on screen to see them in person, yeah. and then these are moments you got to carry forever. So, and there's a lot of people that don't get those opportunities. And it's not always about having the newest camera, this, that, and other. Because I was doing all that. All I had was a million five hundred dollar camera. All right. So, last question. This, this something funny. Yeah. Uh, question. So, you could. Any uh, celebs, name, name some celebs, some of your, uh, the top. I say you get five or ten celebs that you would like to do a photo shoot with. Oh, number one photo shoot. Uh, that's easy. Janelle Monet is number one. Janelle Monet uh, is number top. two, Neo. Neo. Uh, Talent. Yeah, um, let me see. Uh, oh, Monica. Monica. You got Jeez. two five. Jeez. Yeah. Uh, two chains. Two chains. Close, close. There's some other people out here. Yeah, that, that's good. You just want to go with them. Yeah, I like. Well, I, I'm, I'm, I'm real more like on the classy side. So, okay. you know, me, if I, if I had to go one male and one female, it's definitely Janelle Monae. Yeah, Those are my two yeah, top yeah. right here. Two times. They just, Neo, he just on his throne. He just always fly. You know what they, she just, it, it, she defines like the old school. You know what I mean? Because a lot of females feel they got to get the body done, just that and the other. Yeah. And Jan- Janelle Monet, she defines how you can literally, like, you know, you can still be classy, still be sexy and classy. You know what yeah, I mean? You yeah, can have yeah. you covered up. Yeah. You still do your thing. Oh, to hear. Yeah, I'm yeah. still. I, I emailed her like <laughs> five, ten times. She came back to me. It's cool though. I still got love. T- 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 Every management crew, get at them. I mean, been hitting y'all up. <laughs> we gotta make it happen, bro. Yep. So, uh, so yeah, that, that, that's just about questions I got. Uh, you want to give me a shout out or anything? Uh, say anything else you want to say? Also, uh, also make sure. Uh, where people can find you and stuff like that. Shout out to every last photographer that inspired me. Of course, you know, yourself, Triple C, Shots, Media, Famous uh, Shells, Media as well, Press Balls Productions as well. Yeah, 
uh, what is that, the other one, uh, Shaw Productions, uh, uh, dang, what's, what's, what's the other one, Laser Gang, dang, can't remember his name right now, but listen, anybody that was in the <laughs> circle, oh, Robbie Love, Robbie Love. can't forget Robbie Love as well, so that's, that's my man right there, video wise and stuff, definitely, even Robbie on the photos as well. Yeah. That's, that's my homie right there. Um, but a lot of there's so many more people that inspired me. Uh, oh, shout out to Aaron Pei. I'm um, from uh, New York. His Instagram is Underground NYC. Also, shout out to Rick Bones. Rick Bones. Yo, definitely. Shout out to him. Uh, Rihanna Mason. She is a female model. It's a lot more. It's a yeah. lot more, but those are the only ones I can remember right now. Yeah, that's what's up. That's what's up. So, uh, so, yeah, so that's how we're going to do it. That's how we're going to wrap it up. It's Triple T Media, RW Photography, and that's how we're going to do it.